You talk about in your work the concept, which is really interesting, of managerial cognition. And I've never really heard it talked about this way. What is that? And why is it important? How does it affect the action that organizations take? Maybe the simplest way to think about it is to recognize that when a CEO makes a decision, and that decision takes into account technology and the capabilities of the firm and the, the resources the firm possesses and competitors and things like that, he or she is not making this decision based on the actual nature of competition or the actual technology or the actual capabilities. He or she is making this decision based on their perception of the capabilities of the firm, mm -hmm. their perception of who the competitors are and their estimation of how the competitors will react to any move that you make. What that means is that we all walk around with a mental model in our heads, some model that kind of understands what we're good at, how we interact with other people, and kind of what our expectations will be for any action that we take. And so when we think about the role of managerial cognition, we're thinking about the ways in which that mental model and the degree to which it's very highly refined in some areas and maybe a little fuzzier in other areas affects the way that the manager reacts to feedback, interprets what's going on around them, and then makes a decision in different directions. So an example from my research thinking about how and, and where this plays a role, we, I, with Sarah Kaplan, who's a faculty at Toronto, uh, I've got a research project that's looking at managerial cognition in the fiber optics telecom industry, kind of the emergence of fiber optics as a technology. And what we found was that managers uh, CEOs who were paying more attention to talking more about the old technology, copper wiring type things, for the most part didn't really react to the emergence of the new technology, which kind of makes sense to some extent if you're focused on that technology that you would think that you wouldn't respond that way. And I think relatively obviously the managers that were focused on the new technology who were paying attention to it led their organizations to very quickly adapt to that new technology. But that raises this point that CEOs that have a technology focus, who focus on the technological details, it's a double-edged sword. If you're focused on the right technology, then you're going to lead your, your firm down the right path. If you're focused on the wrong one, maybe you're going to miss it because you're so focused on mm -hmm. what it is the firm's currently good at, you miss what the next new opportunity is. By contrast, we found that managers that were paying attention not to the technology, but to the industry who were paying attention to what was going on around them, who didn't really care about the technology per se, but they were interested in how do we solve the problem of helping people who are far apart physically communicate with one another. They were more technology agnostic. They were much more mm -hmm. easily able to kind of swap out one technology for another one. Um, and this was more supported in my research and flat panels display as, displays as well. This idea that depending upon the way in which the manager approaches a problem and thinks about the problem, in this case specifically thinking about an industry focus or a business case focus versus a technology focus, can have very significant implications for what choices the manager makes, how he or she responds to success and failure, and how they adapt over time as they get new feedback on how the industry evolves.